Welcome back, wise ones. Coming at you today with episode 26 of the Iceni campaign, and we're starting this episode off right with a battle. We could auto-resolve this, of course, but honestly, 80% isn't as good as I think we could do with our own forces here, given the fact that we have the superiority in both the skirmisher and the cav mobility department. These... Uh, we're doing the attacking, and so yes, the Galatians here, and this is also the first time we're fighting the Galatians. The Galatians do have a lot of spears, and all of their spear units do have javelins. So I will have to be careful with that when we are trying to get around the flanks with our chariots, who are pretty susceptible to missile fire. That being said, we also have, we, we have a pretty big advantage when I think it comes to the chevroned up chosen swords against any infantry that they'll be able to field against us. So I'm feeling pretty strong about that. And then again, I, if we can engage their front line, the Britain scout riders are just so fast that I think we'll be able to mop up their skirmishers very fast. And uh, let's just have all these guys go on guard mode. Um, it's funny that, uh, because I have that champion in this army, that even the skirmishers can, uh, that even the skirmishers can have the, uh, the frenzy ability. But, sorry, to round out the point I was making, I, I think we'll be able to wrap these guys up pretty quick with some Alexandrian tactics of some hammer and anvil strikes. That being said, can't be too, can't be too lax about what might happen on the flanks. Uh, let me if I take a gander at what the Galatians are kind of looking like, you see this, they're doing a good job of keeping spears in reserve, meaning that we won't be able to get into their back line right off of the rip. And I actually am not very familiar with the Galatian noble unit, to be fair. Uh, but, but this is, uh, this is where we live and we learn. And actually I'm going to move my, I'm going to move my archers to the right flank. Uh, just so that we have them shooting at the, uh, so we can have them shooting at the Galatian general. I think that, uh, think that that'll be a pretty solid, I think that'll be a pretty solid result here. And it, again, they're holding their, they're holding their slingers in front of their army. We're going to absolutely mow them down. And this is just a classic case of when we get into missile range that, um, yeah, as soon as we get into missile range, I have a feeling that we'll see a, uh, we will see the Galatians pushing forward. So without further ado, we'll get this sped up just a little bit. Nothing crazy. But given given our slinger advantage and all that stuff, we um, I feel pretty confident that we'll dislodge these, these units from their starting position. But let's take a look at some of these Galatian units. This is the first time, like I said, we're fighting these guys in this campaign. Uh, we've dealt them many a blow. And I actually, you know what? Now that I think about it, I don't know if I fought the Galatians in my Epirus campaign with Pyrrhus. You know, I gotta, might have to go back and take a look at that. How close are we in terms of the skirmish line? We're not that close just yet. So I'm gonna bring my skirmishers up and I'll do the same here with my units. Again, we're in, we're in, we are in position now where we're getting very close and I really do think that these guys will rush in sooner than later. And I might also have, I might also drop my units on uh, guard mode as well here just so that they can throw their they can throw their missiles what I'm not paying attention let's uh who's our general here I think it's Pekia Pekia is our general she has oh my god look at the slew of of uh things that she has there which is awesome for us uh gotta make sure I remember to pop some of those general abilities I know you guys don't come here for the most advanced of gameplay, but I try to do a little something, something. We've been getting better slowly but surely, I'd like to think. All right, here they come. As expected, here come the, yeah, here come the Galatians. And we're going to do what we usually do. We're going to move our forces up kind of into a four piece here. All right, let's get these guys. All right, let's make sure we're we're crushing their units here. Are these guys in our range? No, okay. All right, let's get these guys around the flank. And 
perfect. All right, we actually are we actually are doing a good job of wrapping up those guys. And come on, give me my give me my chariots. All right, let's get uh Let's move her up a little bit more. Oh, shoot. They're doing some serious damage to our units actually in the front here. Um, I think we're doing a good job. I'm going to have one of these units go through, get through, get through, get through. Okay. All right. We're, okay, never mind. We're chewing up. We're, they are They are getting a little bit better of an engagement than I would have liked. Got to be careful with her. And we'll get into the... We'll get into the back there with the painted ones. Okay, never mind. We, uh... We have actually really mopped up these guys a lot better than I thought we were going to. Alright, we're going to pull the chariots out of that, and we're actually going to drop the chariots down into here. Let's get into the back of these guys. And, uh, we'll have all of our... We can have all of our missiles start targeting the back there. Alright, we've wrapped up the, uh... Looks like we've wrapped up their... Their main body of infantry. They're all routing, as we can see here. Alright, and now I'll have all of my missile units dedicated to these Galatian nobles here. And let's get... Let's make sure we're getting the chariots up and out of here. Where are these horses? Which one are these horses? I think these are over here. Oh, no, no. They're over there. Okay. And let's get these other horses out. Yeah, let's get these guys. Yeah, let's get these guys chasing down some of these enemy units here. Um, I actually, yeah, as much as I want to continue to shoot, yeah, we're going to continue the battle here. I'm going to stop the fire at will on those guys, but we do have a lot. There's a lot of meat left on the bone in terms of running down those guys. Yeah, like that battle was very quick. Again, I'm going to attribute that to uh, Pekia's, yeah, Pekia's ability there. One of our units has used all its ammunition. Yeah, I mean, Pekia is just so... We didn't even use the rally. We could have redone the Intimidate there. I mean, she is just such a bruiser. Love to see it. Yeah, you love to see it. But uh, hopefully that's a lesson in army construction for some of you guys. Um, yeah, the... Uh, us being able to easily overwhelm the flanks and the skirmishers. We, we did, don't get me wrong, we lost some... We lost a few Chosen Swords. Uh, that's... On me, again, I, I gotta remember to, to do this, where our center is always the one that gets the most pressure, and I am not always the best about uh, reinforcing them. Let's get rid of those slingers there. Uh, other than that, we're doing a pretty good job of mopping up. We should be done here in a sec. But yeah, no, always good to start. A, I'm always happy to be able to start a uh, to start an episode with um, with a battle. And we'll mop these guys up. We'll grab these last levy freemen before they go. Did we get the enemy general? I think we did. Yep. Yeah, okay. Cool. Alrighty, quit the battle. There we go. Decisive victory on the Desert Plains. And remember, we have to be pretty... Given the fact that Pekia is kind of on her own here in Alexandria and Egypt, we have to be very careful with how we are getting our... With how we are getting our forces in position. Making sure we're not getting ourselves caught in any unwanted areas or losing any people... Or losing any units that we can't retrain because we do not have the proper facilities for it just yet. We'll go ahead and release those soldiers. Uh, I'm tempted to go and attack, but again, this is one of those ones where we're being proactive with attacking enemy armies. However, we are absolutely not overextending. We're getting back into our settlement. We're getting back into our settlement, and we're making sure that we are replenishing and keeping ourselves within the, con the friendly confines of reinforcements. I am tempted to go ahead and bump up this building, but I honestly, guys, I want to be careful with the food situation. Uh, I'm going to have to watch out for that. And we do have, we'll have to get rid of this. We are going to have to get rid of this Pergamim army soon enough. Um, 
this rating is what's impacting our public order quite or having a detriment on our public order. Last turn as well, guys. I noticed that there it I I don't know how we'd maybe be able to do it. However, we could get the not this summer per se, but we could land by close to Tarsus, and that would be kind of a nice little beach area. Maybe if I move an army here and jut them off this way. Uh, I just noticed that last turn. So after we bait these, after we bait the Galatians to get into our territory, we will do some damage. Uh, I'm going to actually go ahead and pick up a couple of more slingers. Uh, okay, we can recruit three units per go there. Excellent. Good to know. Our public order is absolutely fine in Salamis, which is good to see. I'd love, of course, to get an army down to reinforce Alexandria as fast as possible. There are just too many enemy fleets abound that will absolutely sink our uh, they'll absolutely sink our transports. So that is some good advancements down on that front. Let me double check and cycle through the uh, northern frontier for us up here, making sure we're we're putting the screws on any last territories of the um, any last territories of the Bowie as well. So we could start moving out of Istros, which I might do. I'll probably move. I probably will move up. We could actually even drop into an ambush stance. That's kind of fun. You know I love to drop into ambush stances. Um, the noble stags are doing their thing here. Our army down in Abora is doing fine. The woad warriors up here. We have some skills that we can drop out, which is nice. Um, what's this? What's the one at the end here again? Second wind group. Yeah, second wind is always so important. I'll take it. Um, where is... Yeah, here. I think... We have that other army. Which is the army I'm thinking about? I'm thinking about this one. Okay, these guys are... We're recruiting. All right, this army will be close to being ready. I'm going to just cycle through the provinces here to, to make sure that we are not going to have any slums be developed. And then after that, I'm actually... I'm probably going to go ahead and try to upgrade a couple farms. Might even double-check those... A lot of those ports, a lot of these fishing villages. How much food? It gives us nine food, and we can absolutely handle the public order issues. So we'll do that. We will absolutely take that. Uh, look at that. Again, this army from Pontus is really making their way around, um, really making their way around our northern border. So it might be useful to have one of our, it might be useful to have an army up in that Germanic area. Okay, looks like that Bowie army kind of snuck by us, but it really doesn't matter. We'll take that army that's in Escala. So I'm just kidding. I don't know how to pronounce that. Up there by the Balk or the Baltic Sea. We'll take that army and move up to Mons Regia or whatever the name of that settlement is, and then we'll take that other one to that last uh, settlement. Hopefully, the Dalmatae maybe attack like the Syracusans. Like I really just don't want them perusing around my lands. Technology research penalty. That's fine. Daughter comes of age. That is huge. All right, let's double check our... Everybody is feeling all right, per se, here. We will let this guy go... We'll let this guy go back on a, on a diplomatic mission. I'm tempted to send him somewhere where he can get himself yeeted, but we'll... We'll send him to Rhodes just to see. Have him take a nice vacation. And that'll give us some more public, or, or not public order, but that'll give us some benefits there when it comes to the loyalty. Because I really, again, we are we are pushing to make sure that we do not have a rebellion. That is the least of our worries right now. So we're going to go ahead and go ahead and give a gift here. And then I also, how much, he has only has eight gravitas. We should also have him organize some games, maybe. What's the cheapest of these two? Yeah. Oh, minus two loyalty. Fine. We'll do the loyal. We'll have him organize some games. Uh, we'll do it in Magnia, Germania. Which, yes, that does detract from some of the stuff we just did. But want to make sure that we are getting, we're getting our characters in the position to be married ASAP to extend that royal family. Okay, cool. Yep. Slowly but surely for them. Slowly but surely. But that's always great. It's always good to get another female because I don't know. Just in case you guys are tuning in to this episode as the first one you're seeing. This is a female only general and admiral campaign. This whole point is to recreate the 
British Empire of the, you know, 15 to 1900s in the ancient time. We already conquered. Uh, we Okay, there's a lot of raiding going on here. Let's take out of, let's get out of this stance here. Um, I, want, I would love for these guys just to land already, but I'm wondering if we went, if we got, if we dropped off here, if we could skirt around and go this way. Um, that being said, I think I might, I think I'm probably just going to wait for this fleet to get really big. Yeah, I'm just going to wait for these ships to like to get as many ships as possible. And then we'll try to sail in and destroy some of those, those fleets. Is this a fleet? Yeah. I mean, they're, don't get me wrong. I'm not going to get it twisted. These enemies absolutely outdo us in terms of, um, yeah, I want to make sure that uh, we're getting these buildings upgraded accordingly. The enemy absolutely outdoes us in terms of quality of ships. That is one thing that our, our barbarians aren't the best at. Uh, we could go ahead and I don't really care about going east as much as I want to just continue our conquest of Egypt. And this is one of those situations where I'll go ahead and put our forces here. I think we can even fortify then. We'll fortify at the crossing here. That'll help us with replenishment. We'll hopefully try to get goad this army into attacking. Otherwise, we will get them next turn uh, with that movement range buff. And then speaking of movements, let's go ahead and get these guys out of the ambush position. Oh, we are just short. That's yeah, fine. We are just short of being able to attack them there. Uh, I'm trying to think. Okay, good. This is what I wanted to see. I wanted to see where this other big army... Opportune failure for us there, which sucks. But that army... Okay, we can easily handle that army. That army is in rags. Uh, what's our public order? We're fine. Let's march up to uh, Mons Regius. It is Mons Regius. I was right. Sweet. Uh, and let's get... I'm trying to think. Or not trying to think. I'm trying to see. You know, I might try to... I might try to make sure to I might try to just build up our another fleet here in Lily Biome because we will okay we can't grab another one because I will then march my I'll march that army that we had just constructed here in Bibract we will march them to Lily Biome this is a pretty sizable force I don't even think I I think even one, they have, I don't know, can I, am I good on unit slots? Two, four, six, eight, ten, twelve, fourteen, sixteen. 10, 12, 14, 16. No, we have 20. Okay, so we're going to force march these guys down the boot. See how many turns it'll take us to get to Cosentia. Uh, actually, let's just have a march to Rome, I guess. Okay, three turns to Rome. Okay. Four turns to Cosentia. By the time that rolls around... Apologies for the slight audio issues there. Don't know what you guys might have missed out on. There was like a little hiccup there with my mic. Uh, regardless, we are moving our army from Babrak down through the Italian peninsula, and we're going to start to build up the fleet at Lilibium so that we could just sail over and meet them, and we'll bring that as another force down here into the Egyptian area. That will really help. Getting another force down in Egypt will really help us out a lot. My decision to have two armies stationed at Cyprus is great to hold this province, or this, not province, but this territory, but maybe not the right call. And I wonder actually if I move this army inland, if they will attack, like if we can goad some people into attacking, um, that'll be something. Because I, I do want to, I want to make sure that I want to try to knock out these Galatian forces ASAP. So that is one thing we'll keep on our on our radar. But we get an upgrade here to our scout. We're going to go ahead and just make sure it's to the toxicity aspect. Cycling through. Don't think we have... Latikos, Latikos was trying to get after this army, which maybe is what I'll do too. And then I'm trying to think where, 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 where did we have eyes on that? We had eyes on a Pontic army somewhere. 
and uh, going to make sure I don't lose sight of that because that'll be really helpful for us. Let's, uh, let's get our, our person back into our territory and drop her into the fact that we hadn't been doing that is my bad. Uh, other than that, though, we are pretty good. We'll move, we will move to the next turn there. I know we're we just reached the 20 minute mark. I'm going to try to keep this episode a little bit tighter here and it's going to go up at a different time than usual. Perfect. Okay. We did, we did goad them into attacking us. We're actually getting really good odds here. We are getting really good odds. Um, I might actually just auto resolve this. As much as you guys might want to see a big naval landing, uh, I am going to auto resolve this. Oh, okay. Should not have auto resolved it. Should not have done that. Why, you might say? Well, we just lost a butt ton of fleet ships and our admiral. Also, wait, why are some of these people. Oh, no. Our admiral was a guy? I didn't know that. Okay, well, that helped us dispel a little bit there. I probably should have fought that one just to have gotten those soldiers on land. Uh, I'm not worried about the replenishment. I know we'll get that sorted, but we lost we lost more ships there than I would have what I would than I would have liked. However, I, I do just want to keep this. The whole point is to keep this campaign moving a little bit. And the the chef boy are these guys annoying are just absolutely fumbling around up north here. Uh, probably, okay, they did capture that. Once Athens has ended a non-aggression pack with us? Why? Oh, no. Our Imperium is getting too lard. They hate us because they ain't us right now is the, is the aspect of the campaign we're getting into. And to tell you the truth, I could take that army that we're marching down to Rome and just have that absolutely wreck havoc in the, um, have that absolutely wreck havoc in the Hellenic cultures or the Balkan peninsula down there, but we will not. We will refrain from that. We'll try to repair that relationship with Athens. Ah, man. Okay, well, we have... Uh, this is why we have Womans for this. Uh, she's part... Blandia? Oh, man. The return of Blandia. I feel like, I feel like though, if I'm going to have Blandia... If I'm going to have a Blandia, she might need to go back into an army, though. And I don't, if you guys don't know what I'm talking about, in like the fourth or fifth episode, we had our most cracked out. We're actually going to, we'll go ahead and put Blandia in. No, we'll put, what's her name here? What's this? We'll put Lana in the plus one gravitas per turn, too. We'll put her in the, in the uh, fleet. A child has died. A couple child have died. Damn. We are, faction joined our enemy. Is that what that is? Okay, Bithynia, that's fine with me. Uh, let's go ahead and try to repair this relationship with, with Athens. They're still trading with them. For the sake of friendship that has been and friendship to come, greeting. Okay, well, okay, I guess it's not the end of the world to... Uh, let's go ahead and see if we can pay these guys. Okay, I mean, realistically, we can... I don't really want to. Yeah, I didn't really want to pay for the three, but that might help us out. Dalmate, we can't trade with them, but that might help us out with holding off the Athenians from uh, declaring war on us. But I mean, I don't understand why Bithynia is getting all hot and bothered. There's literally no reason for them to be anywhere near, like anywhere close, remotely close to attacking us. All righty. So last few territories left for the Bowie Eye. I'll puck, I guess I'll, I'll keep the, I'll try to get this one, I'll keep this one under 30 minutes, but at the same time, we are in a really good position to really, ex to exterminate these guys. So that is exactly what we're going to do. So let's go ahead, take this settlement. 86, 87, we'll do the 87. I have been raising all of these settlements. I have, and uh, we will keep up that, we'll keep up that, uh, pa path there. We'll go ahead, build common food and a temple. Uh, is this Latikos? No, 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 no. We want Latikos on the poison. Beautiful. This army is absolutely just pooping themselves to death. And let's uh, let's see if we can. Oh, we can't manipulate. Never mind. We will use this agent to go spy. We should use this agent to actually go spy on the Gate. Do I have a non-aggression pack with the Gate? Because I really don't want to fight these guys. Okay. We don't have a non-aggression pack, but 
we have good relationships with them. Okay. And let's go ahead. We're really turning the screws on these guys, which is good to see. Ooh, we must have gotten hit by an agent or something up that way. But uh, let's go ahead and build some horsies. We'll go with the mineral springs. Um, yes, one of these buildings we actually do probably, I probably should convert. Um, realistically, it's probably this one. Honestly, no. I mean, we, are we going to be building an army up in this neck of the woods? I'd hope not. But, I mean, there's always a chance. Oh, no, we already have that. So let's go ahead and give us the most food. Uh, this is one where we definitely need some some food buildings. All right, let's get down here. See what we got going on in the... Okay, our army... Who was... Who's this? It's Rasona. Beautiful. Rasona is absolutely one of our, our baddest generals, for sure. She is amazing. Uh, public order, morale against non-barbarian... That's pretty good, honestly. That's a lot of what we've been fighting. I wish we could get that second level of Brute going, but let's see what's this one down here. Charge and morale for commanders. Force concentration. Again, I don't even know what that is. Um, campaign movement range is great. Uh, yeah, again, I really want to get Brute up there. What's this one do? Inspire Rally. I mean, I might do that just to have you know another ability. Yeah, we'll do that. We'll go ahead and grab that there. Uh, we got to make sure that, yeah, now that Lana is in, we'll probably do something with, uh, yeah, we'll go ahead and give morale for units. Shots per minute, chance of wounding enemy. We'll go with the chance of wounding enemy agents, too. Okay, cool. Our, can we force march? No, okay, that's, I did not mean to do that, but I guess we might as well. If we could get this fleet, or if we can get Kanini to land here, that'll be really helpful for us to, to really put the, to tighten the screws on the uh, Pergamines and the Galatians. All right, this army retreated. Okay, there they are, perfect. Let's, uh, let's continue to sabotage them. Uh, can Alexandria defend itself? That's the that's the million dollar question, and to tell you the truth, I don't think so. I do not think Alexandria can defend itself just yet. So we're gonna take our army out of that stance. It's already it's also got really bad public order, so we're gonna leave that there. Can we actually recruit a dignitary? We could, but uh, we don't have the funds for it. So maybe next turn. Uh, let me make sure I'm not missing out on any. Let me make sure I'm not missing out on anything I need to be doing. I probably I need to be building some more ships, but we took that territory. That's that's more important at the moment. Um, I would love to get the Grand Camp following better. Recruitment cost isn't bad. Weapon damage is great, actually. Yeah, what's this one? Let's do that. Well, uh, we have um, whatever we can do to increase our swords' effectiveness, especially when we're fighting against the barbarians. There, that I think is the best use, uh, or is a really good use. I mean, not the best, but a very good use of our of our time there. Yeah, again, sadly, or actually, no, I should go ahead and build. Let's build another ship, just to make sure we're not, just to make sure we're not losing sight of that one. Soon enough, we'll have reinforcements in Egypt, and that will really that should probably expedite our campaign. We're also going to have a couple armies up in that Germanic area that will probably need to leave there just to garrison those borders. However, we're not going to see much more action up in that territory, so we always could maybe move one or two of them down, uh, or one of them down, if if needed. But for now, we're just going to focus on taking out those last bow. Next episode, we should be able to extinct the bowie eye, which is awesome. I'm very excited for that. While also maybe making some more moves uh, in the, you know, in the Middle East. Just like the British have always done. In the comments below, I know, I mean, hopefully you guys are still watching this deep into the uh, episode. But in the comments below, let me know, what should we do with Turkey? Should we, like, Asia Minor and Turkey, should we... Child is born, excellent. Daughter comes away. I thought... Okay, we got some repeat. Uh, we got some repeat lists there. What does this do? Movement for all of our guys. Yeah, I do actually want to bang out some of these... 
uh, skills for our army. So we're going to go ahead and do that. Sieges could be really good. I just have never been a big siege guy. Maybe in the next campaign we do, uh, we'll be a better, we'll do, we'll do more siege research. Okay. Speaking of that, I do actually want to make sure I'm building, I'm building, um, the appropriate ships here. Okay, good. And then we'll go with then we'll round this out with one, two, three, four, five, six painted, yeah, six painted ones, and then probably four or five slingers, and we should be good to go in that regard. Did any more armies get, no, no more armies are getting, yeah, these guys have absolutely learned their, their lesson. It's okay, opportune failure is fine. We'll, we'll play this turn out, that'll take us right, that'll take us right to like the 30 minute mark, and we'll call it a day. Or actually, you know what, no, no, no. I have to make sure I hold myself to some better standards. Okay, so thank you guys for tuning in. I really appreciate all the support lately on this episode. In the comments below, let me know what we should do with Turkey. Stay tuned. Next episode, we should hopefully be making some big boy moves when it comes to... Excellent. We got, we got our army uh, in the Middle East. Perfect. That's the perfect place to end it. We should be making some bigger boy moves in the Middle East as well as extincting the Bowie Eye, which we are all very excited about. But I really appreciate the support. Most importantly, guys, like, subscribe, and stay wise.